Hello everyone, I am Neeraj and this is Kulvinder with me. And we have other names too. I am Cool and you can call her Nee. nee. So Nee, what do you have special for our viewers today? And whom is this session for? Hmm, good question. If you are a child, a parent or a teacher, this session is going to be helpful for you. Okay, but what it is about? We are going to talk about space and shapes. Shapes are everywhere. Everything around us has a shape. Be it the shape of my face, my nose or my eyes and this screen. Oh yes, shapes are everywhere. But we think this is just a concept related to maths. So it should be done only in maths class or when we open our maths books. No, I think whenever we think about maths, an image comes to our mind of a geometry box with a scale, a protector, a pencil and two ones are two, two twos are four and of course, word problems. Oh, so do we need all these things today? Geometry box, scale, pencil box? No, 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 not exactly. Today we are going to see the existence of mathematics in our lives. Maths is not something that is limited to a classroom or school only. Oh, I agree. It is a way of thinking. It helps us to see things more logically. Right. So, let's see how maths is related to us and our lives. The basic thing that we start in maths in class 1 is shapes and spaces. Right. And this episode is for class 1 students only. Shapes we have already discussed, right? Yes, in class 1 maths book, first chapter is about shapes and spaces. Hmm. Shapes we have already discussed. You have told us about the shapes. But what is space? Tell me something more about space. Space. Space is an area covered by anything. Like we live in a house. So, our house is a kind of space in which we live. Our house has so many things like sofa, light, light, yes, and uh, chairs, chairs, fan, fan, and there are some things that are not inside our house. Like a tree? Yes. Tree is outside our house. Yes, and mountains? And birds? Okay, and rivers? And clouds? Right. So, some things are inside our house and some things are outside our house. Like we live inside our house, right? So, we will discuss what is meant by something that is inside the house or outside the house. So, this is the topic we are going to start with inside and outside. Oh, when I am in house, that is I am inside the house. And when I have to go to market, that means I have to go outside the house. Right. Suppose you have to go to the market today. So, what would you take with you? I'll take certain things with me in my bag. So, first of all, you will carry a bag, a small purse maybe or a pouch. Yes. And what else? And there are certain things that I have already kept inside my pouch. Oh, you are ready to go outside somewhere. Yes. Okay. Let us see what do you have inside your bag. Inside my bag, I have my goggles. Wow. So, it means you are going out in daytime. Therefore, you have kept goggles. goggles. Goggles are inside my pouch. Nice. And what do you have other than that? I'll show it to you. Just wait. 
I also have a tissue. A tissue that is? That was inside my pouch. And now to show you, I am taking it out of my pouch. And again, it is inside my pouch. Great. So are you all set with your things? Uh, yes. There is some money also inside my pouch. Great. So you have kept the money inside your pouch, right? Yes. So I am all ready to go outside of my house. Wait. Have you taken the sanitizer? Oh. No, there is no sanitizer inside my pouch. That's not good. See, I have this sanitizer. It is outside your pouch. You can keep it inside the pouch. Yes. Now, sanitizer is inside my pouch. Right. Mm, have you taken your medicines also? No, medicine is also still lying outside. Yes, your medicines are also outside the pouch. You need to keep them inside my pouch. Right. Can please. you help me, Ni, please? Okay. So, now I have put the medicines inside the pouch. Thank you. You are welcome. Oh, I thought you are going to the bank. Yes, I am going to bank. But for that, you would need a pen to write with. Yes, I have to fill the withdrawal form. Yes. So, have you put your pen? No, pen is also outside my pouch. <laughs> you do this all the time. Put the pen inside the pouch. Oh, I forgot it. I'll keep it inside my pouch. This is a pen and now it is inside my pouch. Right. So, you are all set to go outside the house. Yes. I have kept all the things inside my pouch so that I can go outside my house. Are you sure you have kept all the things inside? Yes. I have kept all the things inside. Then what is this lying here on the table? Your oh, stationery. That I don't need. But you need to keep them inside the geometry box. Oh, do I need to do that? Yes, it is very much needed. Okay. Right? But I have kept some things inside my box already. Okay. Let me see. There is a color inside my box. So, this crayon was inside the geometry box and now it is again lying there. So, you need to put all these stationary items inside the geometry box before going outside the house. But I already have some more things here inside the box. Like? Like there is a pencil inside my box. That is fine, that is fine. But I can see there is still some space inside the geometry box. Can you keep these items also? Okay. I will keep the sharpener inside my box. Good. The purple sharpener is now inside my box. Hmm. I am going to help you. I will put this black sharpener inside the geometry box. There. Now I have a pencil and two sharpeners inside my box. Right. Should I keep eraser also inside the box? Yes, please. Now the eraser is inside my box. But pencil and fevi stick is still outside my box. Right. So, you would like to put all these things inside the geometry box. Can you do that? Now, the pencil is also inside the box. And the fevi stick is also inside the box. Hmm. Now, the colors they were outside are also inside the box. 
Great. Now I am done. All the things that were lying on the table are now inside the box and there is nothing left outside the box. Are you sure there is nothing left outside on the table? No stationary item is left on hmm, the table. Smart. No stationary item is left on the table. All is kept inside the geometry box. But there is still something that is lying outside this plate. Yes. An apple is inside the plate and the tomato is lying outside the plate. You are right. And now here I have a coaster box. Some coasters are inside the box whereas these two coasters are lying outside the box. Yes, these are outside the box. If I put them here into the box then I will say these all these coasters are inside the coaster box. And how many coasters are lying outside now? There is none. Zero coasters are lying outside the geometry box because all the coasters are here in the box. Can we put this tomato also inside the plate? Yes, we can do that. Now tomato is outside the plate and if I put it here, it will be inside the plate. Okay, that means if something is lying in a covered area, it is inside that space and if something is lying outside that covered area, it is outside. Yes, you are right, cool. Oh, but I am tired now after doing this, all this activity. I have clearly understood what is outside and inside. Good. So, what do you want to do now? I you want would to like to take hear a rest? story. Okay. So, you want to hear a story, I have something for you. A story of an Arab and his camel. Is it related to inside outside? Let us see, you have to check that. It was a cold winter day. <sighs> the Arab was travelling on the back of camel. Mm -hmm. night the Arab pitched his tent and went inside it. The camel was outside and the camel said, May I put my neck inside the tent? It is too cold outside. Arab thought, okay, okay, it is about neck only. So, you may put your neck inside. Okay. Then the camel put his neck inside. After some time, the camel said, May I put my legs inside? It is too cold outside. <laughs> the Arab said, Okay, okay, you may put your front legs inside. Then, after some time, the camel asked, can I come inside? It is too cold outside. <laughs> Arab said, no, 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 no. The tent is too small. You have to wait outside. The tent is too small for both of us. So, the camel said, okay, if it is too small for both of us, so, I am coming inside. You please go outside. <laughs> oh, wow. It is too nice. The Arab was outside the tent and the camel was inside the tent. So, you see, they both could not fit into the tent. So, one has to wait outside the tent when other one was inside the tent. Earlier, the Arab was inside the tent and the camel was outside the tent. But when camel came inside the tent, the Arab was outside the tent. Yes, you are right. So, the tent was small for both of them and the camel was big. 
Yes, you are right. If we see here in this plate, this tomato is smaller and this apple is bigger. So, small and big. This is our next concept for today. We will discuss about what do we call smaller and what do we call bigger. So, here we are with another activity. You can see few things are kept here. I will ask you among these which one is smaller and which one is bigger. Okay. Let us begin with this. What is this? This is an elephant. Yes. And tell me what is this? Oh, this is also an elephant. Yes, they are both elephants. Yes, we have two elephants over here. Hmm. One is yours and one is mine. Okay. So, if this is my elephant and this is your elephant, can you tell me what is difference between these two? This is a big elephant and this is a small elephant. Yes, you are right. Oh, now I see. You have chosen a big elephant and for me, hmm, smaller. Okay. So, my elephant is a bigger elephant. And this, this is a smaller elephant. So, I am putting my elephant before me. I am also keeping my big elephant over here. Okay. So, I have more animals. So, let us see this. What is this? This is a cow. This is a cow. And this? This is a hen. Hen. Now, tell me, between these two, which one is smaller? Hen is smaller than a cow. Yes, this hen is smaller than this cow. We can also say that this cow is bigger than the hen, right? Yes. So, I am going to keep the smaller animal. This, this is hen. Hen is smaller than cow and the cow is bigger than the hen. Right. Come on. Now, tell me among these two, which one is smaller and which one is bigger? So, this is a horse hmm. and this is a dog. So, dog is smaller than the horse. Right. We can also say that this horse is bigger than the dog. Right. So, I take the bigger animal that is horse is bigger than the dog. And I will take this dog and put it here. These are smaller animals and they are bigger animals. Do we have big fish also? Yes. This is a big fish. And I have another fish that is smaller than this big fish. So, what do you think kids? Should I take this one or this one? No, the bigger fish is mine. I'll take the bigger fish. Okay, then I'll keep the pink fish. Hmm, I have two balls for you. Are you ready to tell me which one is smaller and which one is bigger? Oh, this yellow ball is a smaller ball I see. And this metal ball is a big ball. Yes, you are right. So, you will keep the bigger ball. And I will? You will take the smaller ball. Thank you. So, let us see what we have next. We have two watches here. We use these watches to check the time. time. So, now tell me. Between these two watches, which one has bigger dial? Is this this red one or the golden one? The red one, no. The golden one has a bigger dial. Yes, you are right. And the red one has a smaller dial. Hmm, you are good at it. So, I will keep the watch with the smaller dial with my other smaller things. 
I like the red color watch, but I'll keep the one with the bigger dial. Okay. Now see here, I have two favi calls. This is known as favi stick, and this is favi call. These two, both of these are used for pasting things like paper or ribbon or any other thing like cloth. For doing the artwork? Yes. Now tell me, between these two, which one is bigger and which one is smaller? Fevi stick is smaller and the fevicol bottle, white color bottle is bigger. So I will take this one, right? No, I have to take the bigger one. Okay, so, so I will. Fevicol bottle is bigger. I'll take the fevicol bottle. And I have already taken the fevi stick, right? Yes. So now I have more challenging task for you. Are you ready? Oh, challenges. Let's see. Yes. So tell me. What do you see here? This is a hen. Hen. And this is a? This is a cow. Cow. And now tell me, what is this? This is an elephant. Yes, right. So we have three animals here. An elephant, a cow and a hen. Now tell me, among these three, which one is the smallest? Among these three, the hen is the smallest. Yes, you are right. And now tell me, which among these is the biggest animal? Biggest of all the three? Yes. Oh, the elephant is biggest of all the three. Yes, you are right. So, you are getting better at it. Let's move on to our next activity. Are you ready? Yes, what is the next activity? We would need other material for that. So, our next activity is about on and under. What is on and what is under? When do we use these words? You know? I don't know. We can say on refers to a position where one thing is covering another thing. It is usually touching the surface of another thing. It means that there are two objects. One is upper and the other is lower. When the upper object rests itself on the lower object, we use on. For example, I am sitting on this chair and you are also sitting on the chair. Now for this, we can understand with some examples. So I have this fevicol bottle here and I am putting it here. Now oh. tell me, is it on the board or under the board? Oh, it is on the board. Yes, this fevicol bottle is touching the board and it is on the upper side. Therefore, we say this fevicol bottle is on the board, right? Yes. Now tell me, this is a color box. I have kept it here. So, this color box is on the board. On the board, right. So, this is a cow and I am putting it here. Now, tell me, is it on the table or under the table? The cow is not on the table, but it is under the table. Not table, actually this is board, but we can do this exercise with our table also. Therefore, we are using the word table here because it looks like a table. This, this is an elephant and I have put it here. Now tell me, is it under the table or on the table? The elephant is also under the table. Yes, you are right. This small elephant is on the? On the table. Yes, you are right. This small elephant is on the board. We can call it board or table, right? Yes. We can do this exercise with chair also. If we put a thing on the chair, that means it is on the upper side. And if we put the thing under the chair, that means it is on the lower side. Right? We can do it with our bed also. Yes. 
Okay, now I have this black fish. Now tell me, is it under the table or on the table? Black fish, I cannot see the black fish on the table. So the black fish is here under the table. Yes, you are right. This box, this brown box is on the board or under the board? This brown box is also on the board. Yes. This small cute pink fish, tell me, is it on the board or under the board? This pink fish is also on the board. Okay, now I have this horse. Now put the horse on the table. I wanted to put it under the table, but she said put it on the table. So here the horse is on the table. Yes, you are right. So kids, we saw how we can put things on the board or under the board, right? Do try this exercise at your home with your parents or elder brother or sister. It will be so much fun. Yes. Now, let's move on to our next activity. We still have another activity? Yes, we have a portly full of activities. Oh, what are we going to do there? We are going to roll some things and slide some things. Oh, let's see. So, activity's name is Roll and Slide. So, this activity is about roll and slide. I remember I have seen the children in the park enjoying on the slide. Oh, yes. They sit on the top and then they slide from there. Swing! And then they reach to the bottom of the swing. Yes, they come sliding down. I can see. This looks like just a slide in the park. Yes, inclined slide. Yes. So, what are we going to do with this slide? Let's keep something over here and let's see what happens to that. Okay. So, I have this coaster. Let's see what happens when we keep it over there. Okay. I'll keep it here. Let's see what happens. Should I leave it? Yes. Oh! sliding down. Yes, it comes sliding down. This is so much fun. Okay, I have this matchbox here. Let's see what happens to this matchbox when I keep it over here. Oh, it comes sliding down. Hmm, now try this. What is this? This is a duster. This is a duster with a flat surface. I'm sliding down. Yes, I can see that the objects having flat surface slide. They slide on the inclined plane, right? So, all things slide. Maybe, let's see. I have this ball, a small ball here. Let's see what happens if we keep it there. This ball is not flat. No, it's not flat. It is round. Let's see. Oh, oh. <laughs> it rolled down, it rolled down. down so quickly, you saw that right? Okay, next, hmm, I have this fevi stick here, let's see what happens with this. Oh. oh, it came rolling down. So quickly, you saw that. Since it had round surface, therefore, it came rolling down. So, let's see what happens with this tape. This tape is round. So, it should roll. roll. Oh, it rolled. Okay, so what happens if we put it like this from this surface? Can you show me? Oh, it is not round here. So, it should roll or slide. It is not rolling. It is it's not sliding. Rolling. It is sliding. Yes, it is not rolling but sliding. Okay. Oh, I have a wheel here. See, the round, round, circular wheel. Let's see what happens if we keep it there on the inclined plane. Oh, 
the wheel of a car. Yes, a big car. Oh, it came rolling down so <laughs> fast. Yes, like we see on the roads, cars move very fast. Why? Because of these round wheels. Hmm. But this I, wheel can slide also. Really? Yes, I think so. Let's, you? let's see. If I keep this wheel like this, I think it will not roll, but it will slide. Really? Yes, you are right. Cool. It has a flat surface. So yes. it slides. This is a car. Let's see what happens with this car if we keep it on that slanted surface. It came down so quickly. You saw that, right? Yes, because it has four round wheels. Right. So now I see that there are some things that are round and they roll, right? But other surfaces which are flat, from that surface the thing does not roll, it slides. So we can conclude that the things with flat surface, they slide and the things with round surface, they roll. So what about the pen? The pen, okay, let's see, I have this sketch pen here. Okay. The pen rolls down. Yes. Now guess, this is a bangle. Would it roll or slide or do both? I think it can roll and slide both. Okay. How did you guess this? If I keep this bangle like this, then it will roll. Okay. But if I keep the bangle in, on the flat surface like this, it will slide down. Okay. So, you mean the surface which is round will help in rolling. Whereas, the surface which is flat will help the thing in sliding. Right? Yes. Okay. Now, without sliding or rolling, you have to tell me. This is a favicol bottle. Would it slide or roll from this surface? Mm, it will roll. Okay. Let's check. This, I have to keep it like this. Yes. And it rolls down. You are right. So, this is a plate. Fish. A small plate. What would it do? Would it slide or roll from this surface? I think it will roll and slide both. From this surface, it will slide and with this surface, it will roll. Okay, let's try with this surface. Hmm. It slides down. It slides down. So, I have an apple here. I know, apple is going to roll down. Sure. Yeah, it is very much round. Do it fast. Yes, it rolls, rolls down. down. This tomato? It will also roll. Come on, check. It looks like a ball. <laughs> yes, it rolled down. I have a block here. Would it roll or slide? I can see the circles here, but I think it will slide. Try it. Yes. It slides. Mm. It slides slowly. Yes. And this pencil? This pencil will certainly roll down. Roll down. Let's try this. Oh, it rolls down. What about this coin? This coin will slide. Does it has flat surface or round surface? It is flat. It is flat. Are you sure? Oh, I think it is round. Yes, it is round and flat. Both. So, it can roll as well as slide. Yes. I will roll it first. Hmm. It rolls down. And now, it slides. Yes. This sharpener here, would it roll or slide? It will slide. Let's see. 
it slides down. So we saw there are certain things that roll and there are certain things that slide and there are certain things that do both rolling and sliding. The flat surface helps the things in sliding whereas the round surface helps the things in rolling. Yeah, we have learned so much today about the shapes, about the spaces, inside, outside and the things that slide and the things that roll. So, in this activity we saw that there are certain things that roll and certain things slide. But there are other things that roll and slide both. Like this flat surface helps the things in sliding and the round surface it helps the things in rolling down. Yes, the things with flat surface slide and the things with the round surface they roll down. So, we have learned so much today Ni. Yes, cool. We have learned about the shapes, spaces, inside, outside, on, under and what rolls and what slides. Right. There is so much to do kids. You can also try these activities at home under the supervision of your parent or elder brother or sister. So bye from cool and bye bye from me.